All right, welcome to day two of 30 Days of Warcraft here on Quad V. My name is Spec, and today we've got a special game for you. It's Turtle Walk again, just like yesterday, but this time it's going to be Orc versus Humans. Yes, it is going to be the Dutch Master Grubby uh, versus uh, Sky. So this is going to be an uh, interesting uh, matchup with Sky as Human and, of course, Grubby as the Orc. Sky starting off, let's see, going for uh, uh, just standard stuff, really. It's Building up your barracks, nothing really out of the ordinary there. And of course, the top left corner, we got Grubby getting uh, getting busy. He's not going for any lumber so far, so he's looking to go for gold for most of the part. And he keeps on d getting two more peons right off the start. So we'll have to see. Barracks going up as well. We'll have to see what class he's going for. I'm going to guess that Sky is going to go for the Archmage, considering, yeah, there we go. It trains the Archmage. As that will be uh, the uh, prime creeping uh, class for the human. Let's see who he's gonna get. Who, who Grubby is gonna get? It's gonna be a Farseer. Okay, another creeping class as well. Both uh, both classes with summonings. Uh, the feral wolves for uh, for uh, the orc and uh, the water elemental for the uh, archmage. So yeah. But in the meanwhile, while we're just waiting for the game to get underway properly, I want to. Uh, give some thanks to all the people uh, that gave the comments on the uh, on the website on day one. Yes, I know it was absolutely terrible, and uh, it can only go up uphill from there on. We got a first uh, militia going out. He will be l looking to aggro some creeps, uh, possibly, or to scout out. We also already have a peon going out from Grubby, going to scout out, and he will be trying to figure out what is going on over in the base. The archmage is out in the first. Um, the first uh, creeps are on the way. No, he's going for a different creep. Looks like he's going to go for the creeps uh, on the gold mine, or no, he's going for the ogres. So, uh, level 3 ogre. And he's got feral spirit being trained by Grubby as expected. So, we have those two feral wolves. We'll be able to creep those uh, green creeps in the right of set space really easily. So, we'll be able to uh, level up quite quickly. The creeping still goes underway. He's Calling the militia as well, pulling them away from the, uh, the uh, operations of the base, such so as uh, the lumber and the gold, etc. Not that you need more, uh, more than five, uh, uh, well, peasants at the gold mine because you cannot handle more than that. Anyway, the uh, grubby is already moving out, and he already has a grunt with him as well. He's got stronghold being built up. Feral wolves looks like he's going to go try and go for the creep jack on the uh, on the yellow creep on the orange creeps. No, not going to happen just yet. Here we go. Feral wolves coming in. Trying to take down this, uh, trying to get some damage on towards the, uh, the Archmage, but it's not going to be enough. I'm grabbing these switch out, but not losing a summon is not really much of an issue. Trying to get some damage on towards the, uh, the Archmage, but he's not really bothered by that and just keeps on creeping. He has picked a up a Ring of Protection as well as a Mantle of Intelligence, as uh, that will give him some more uh, pouncing powder. Groovy's going for a Voodoo Lounge. So he also managed to build a barracks and upgrade it. He's upgrading the stronghold, so he's going tier two quite quickly. Voodoo Lounge will be able to uh, get some extra items up and I quickly buy those ones in the base. The creep's still being underway. Grubby continuously harassing and uh, trying to get a creep jack every once in a while. As, uh, so far, the uh, Archmage of uh, Sky has mostly gone for just regular footman. Let's take a look at his base, see what he's up to. He's going for a keep as well. He's got himself a uh, Arcane Tower up, so he's got that defense, and he's got a pair of boots speed, so he'll be able to outrun uh, the uh, uh, Grubby's uh, creeping force. Uh, Grubby does take down this uh, creep here. A little bit of a creep jack going on. I don't think his Farseer got any uh, any XP out of that, so that's a bit of a shame on that part. About that part, but he will be able to pick up a Slippers of Agility, uh, potentially be selling it. He has picked up Ogre Strength uh, Gauntlet, so more strength on that one. And he keeps on continuing with his uh, feral sp feral wolves around the map the without support. Are under attack. Let's see what's going on here. Is, uh, the uh, Archmage continues to creep on the og Ogre Warriors, which backed up his Forest Trolls. He needs to take out the range, and there we go. Claws of Attack. That'll help him out quite, quite a lot. Getting more damage out and more uh, higher attacks is, uh, is always good for uh, the Archmage. Let's see what he's up to in his base. Oh, we got. Uh, we got Grubby just found out that uh, Sky has a Arcane Tower in his base, so all these peasants were relatively safe. 
And uh, here come the grunts trying to get some uh, get some trying to get some kills on towards these uh, on towards these peasants. No, he's going for the arcane vault. And he's trying to delay the construction of Sky as much as he possibly can. As uh, Grubby has gotten his second hero up, it's going to be a, a Tauren Chieftain. He's coming out and uh, he has good defense. Uh, has good defense strategy. Difficult to surround. Well, he, it's he's not so much that he's difficult to surround, but it's easy for him to get out of a surround situation. Anyway, creeping going out in the lower left again. And as, uh, Sky has finally got his arcane vault back up. As Grubby's going for Berserker Strength, so he looks like he's going to go for uh, a Grunt Push. And as it looks like the Footman a from Sky could be looking for raiding into its base. Yes, he already has his mage in the base and trying to get his bestiary, uh, trying to get his bestiary out of out for the count. As these peons are trying really, really hard to get this uh, thing. And the the Tarn Chieftain has got uh, Shockwave up. So we'll be able to get some damage out if he gets surrounded. As uh, Sky has gone for a Beastmaster, or as the a second, uh, as a second hero. Let's see what we can get from that. Yeah, Beastmaster. So we'll be able to get uh, summons, and he's got from Quill Beasts, which uh, will get him a little bit of extra DPS. Sky still has that Water Elemental. He's going after these burrows. He's really uncontested. There's not many towers in the base. So just a few wolves trying to attack. The Quill Beast is still outside. As, uh, as uh, Sky goes for score regeneration, clarity, and his buys ivory towers. Oh my! He's got two ivory towers being built, so he could be potentially be looking to drop those in the middle of Grubby's base. A potential tower push on the horizon. As Grubby is, is, is a quill beast, he's continually to scout out the base, see what's going on in the back. As uh, it looks like uh, Grubby's going for double bestiaries. With two raiders, uh, he's he just turning out raiders, so heavy raiders coming out. As meanwhile, as uh, the ogre mage, magi is not doing too bad. Versus these creeps. Uh, the we got militias all over the place. As finally, here comes, uh, yeah, there is there the tower push, like I expected. There we go, as uh, the towers are coming in, as uh, the militias and the footmen trying to take down these. Uh, these burrows as much as they can. Can the peons outbuild the uh, the burrow? That is the question. And he can't lose. Uh, and Grubby can't lose. To lo he can't afford losing the burrows because that's just food gone. And he won't be able to build additional units if that burrow dies. And it does go down. The peons are all over the place. He's not doing anything with them. He'll be going down. And I don't think Grubby is going to be making this. Although he has TP back his troops back towards the base. He's taking these tower down just in time as one goes up. A little bit of defense as finally we got some uh, wind riders as well as raiders on the field as that uh, the chieftain could be looking to do a uh, his uh, his earthquake attack yeah tp coming out as uh, just in time as uh the sky is just uh, getting his uh he has enough money and he's just trying to get more uh stuff around the base he's got well he just keeps on buying more ivory towers as uh, Grubby is going for healing salves, and yeah, as they both say, that's just round number one. And a little bit difficult as uh, Grubby just quickly to build up that burrow again. As here we go, here, Sky is not even waiting one second. He sends in the Footmans right away, uh, right after he managed to uh, uh, to buy his items. And here it comes for a round number two on towards the base. Is uh, the Chieftain trying to get some damage out? Will the tower be shut down? Grubby will he be able to pump out more units. He's not, he's not building anything at the moment. As the peons are inside the burrows. And the footmen are now going after the uh, the target chieftain, trying to go for a surround. Could be going look, could be looking for the kill. The chieftain is relatively low. As Grubby is being pushed all the way towards the corner and giving the archmage all the time to hold the oh, the <laughs> just just in time as uh, the chieftain gets a level up. Uh, Sky should be looking to uh, TP out. Chieftain. Oh, he's got the Archmage surrounded and ensnared. The Archmage goes down. Oh, my. That is a massive loss there for Sky, as well as his Beastmaster being surrounded. He's in the corner. He's, he's going to go down level one. That Beastmaster is going to be toast, and Grubby will have the upper hand. Sky had it for quite some time, but it's not going to be enough. As, uh, 
Those Players guard towers are still going up just outside of Grubby's base, but he, but Sky lost his season. two uh, heroes. But those those guard towers are just all over the place. And they're going after the barracks, and what can Grubby do against those guard towers? Meanwhile, over on the other side, not much going on inside Sky's base. He still mm, could be opting for longer range, perhaps. No, he's going for the tavern. As his, uh, as his heroes are back online, but those two towers are still there. And the peons are happily trying to get the uh, are under attack. trying to rebuild the uh, the barracks. No problem there, really. Two footmen sneak in, going after the uh, altar. No, the peons it is because he needs to get this, these barracks down. And there come the troops again. As uh, Gravity tries to take down the tower, first one will most likely go down, and he's bought a uh, orb. Those here. As, uh, oh, ensnared! Beastmaster has been ensnared! He's gonna go down at this rate. Hey, oh, can he get out? Can he get out? Ooh, he's so low! And he doesn't get the second ensnare as the, uh, is under siege. the raider tries to ensnare him for the second time. There comes the ensnare! Attack. He's gonna go down! That Beastmaster is. Oh! He is so low! As. Uh, Second ensnare comes in on the arc mage. The chieftain is around that area, but these footmen are going to go down. That's more experience for uh, both uh, both the farce here. As a uh, good game is being called, as uh, Grubby it takes his one home, and Sky is just thinking by himself, "Wow, there's no way I could have come back." Good game is being called. Grubby um, just holding back on the onslaught at the end. As Sky tried to sneak in there with all his might, but there was no way he could to get in there. And then his towers went down in round number two as he lost all his heroes. And there was just no way to solve the situation. Grubby, well, takes home the second round as uh, good games are being called. And uh, so much for that. That was day number two here on Quad B for uh, 30 Days of Warcraft. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, leave your comments down in the, uh, in the comment box. And uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow for day number three of 30 Days of Warcraft.